as we come to the end of our project, we need to be able to put this into a format where it can go on the web. At the moment, the site is stored in a WPP file. So that's a Word Plus file, which is great for editing, but we can't actually put it on the web like that. We've got to make it into HTML files, which, as we know, are the files on the web. So the way we do this is we need to publish the site. And we're going to say publish to disk folder. If you select publish to web, it allows you to upload it to some web space that you've purchased. But since we don't have web space that we've purchased at the moment, we're just going to publish it to disk and then we could upload it later. When I select publish to disk folder, it asks me what do I want to publish? And I want to publish all the pages. You can run the site checker tool just to check to see if there's any problems first and I've got a couple of picture files missing but you should check that all of yours are in the proper place. So when I click OK what it will do is it will publish it to this folder here. So let's click OK and it says well it doesn't exist so let's create it. Yes. There we are and I can say view files in Windows Explorer and up comes my HTML files. So I've got my different HTML files that I've created. Notice that the template has completely disappeared. It doesn't use the template at this level once you've exported it. And then I've got images that I use in my site and also some of the JavaScript. In order to be able to hand this in, what I need to do is I need to put this all into one file called a zip file. A zip file is a compressed file, so it's smaller than all of the files that it contains. So if I select this and say properties, you can see that there's 76 kilobytes in there. To put it into a zip file, right click, send to compress zip folder. There we're done. And look, this is 21 kilobytes compared to the 76 kilobytes. This file here, the zip file, is the file I'm going to ask you to hand in.